months, I just saw The Meg, and it was kind of funny, I guess. When the trailer for this film came out, it was abundantly clear that the tone presented in that trailer would never actually appear in the film. He looks heroic. It's important to recognize that there are people that do this for a living. It is literally someone's job to trick people into seeing shitty movies. And there are some very talented trailer editors out there. And they fully understand how to use music to manipulate audience members. Remember that trailer for Suicide Squad where they used the Bohemian Rhapsody song from Queen? Kinda like that. I am willing to bet money that the new Godzilla film will not have the same tone as Claire de Lune by Debussy. You are out of your goddamn mind. I am sorry, but this is the only way. Trailers do not exist to give you an idea of what the movie is going to be like. They exist to persuade people to buy tickets for the film. Anyways, you can probably tell this movie was not very good. Everything about it felt forced and predictable. The whole movie just felt recycled, really. It's pretty much just like any other dumb big shark movie. It's like something you'd see on the sci-fi channel, but with much more production value. And honestly, this aspect kind of caught me off guard. I am just now realizing that the budget for this this film was a hundred and fifty million dollars for one of the most uninspired scripts ever written. Meanwhile, talented artists with new and original ideas are struggling to find funding. Nah, fuck them, we've got The Meg. Doesn't even matter if it sells well in America, because this film was clearly made for China. Most of the film takes place off the coast of China. The film features actors that are huge stars in China. Now, obviously, if you've seen any of my recommendations on this channel, you'd know that I'm not exactly an anti-diversity kind of guy. But the reason why it's so obnoxious in movies like this is because it's so incredibly transparent. Like, this movie was very clearly made for Chinese audiences. And it's become a growing trend in recent years because of how valuable of a market they are. Which wouldn't be a huge issue if it weren't for their no ghosts, no gays policy. You ever wonder why Disney's been promoting every single minority group except the LGBT community? It's because they want to sell the films in China. You can't sell the movie in China if it has gay people in it. They don't give a shit about representation. They only want to make money. You've all been duped. Anyway, let's get back on track here. Basically, the plot of this movie is that Rain Wilson spends over a billion dollars on research that he doesn't even, even know exactly what he's funding. The people he hired have a theory that the bottom of Mariana's Trench isn't actually the bottom, and it's just a layer of hydrogen, and there's cool things underneath. And and they were right, but there's also a giant squid and some megalodon sharks underneath, oh no. When they got down to the bottom layer, it felt like they had only actually descended another 30 feet or so. It didn't really show them going much further down, I guess it was just because of how it was edited. And because they broke past the layer, the sharks were able to get out too, because there was like a layer of cold that was keeping them in, I guess? It didn't make a lot of sense, but whatever, Jason Statham's gonna fight a shark now, just be quiet, don't think about it. So then they decide they have to kill it because they don't want lawsuits because they're responsible for the sharks not being under the layer of hydrogen at the fake bottom of Mariana's Trench. And then the shark just hangs out by the surface for the whole rest of the movie for no reason, just so they can have a lot of stupid action set pieces where they're trying to kill the shark. Action which would probably be more entertaining if the film wasn't PG-13. Every time a human being dies in this film, they're comically swallowed Whole. No blood, no nothing. We can't have that. This is a movie for kids, obviously. One of the characters nobly sacrifices himself and dies off screen. It's all pretty funny. Quite honestly, there are quite a few laugh out loud moments in this film. It was actually funny enough that I did not regret buying a ticket to see it. It almost feels like it's a parody of itself. Like it's not even a real movie. In some ways, I guess it was everything it was trying to be. As in, it's kind of obvious that they really did not give a 
shit. Why would you put any effort into the characters? Nobody cares about that. This is literally the most expensive shark movie ever made. What more do you want? Me stupid, sexy Jason Statham. Me fight shark now. Me good guy. Me be very brave. Shark bad. Shark kill people. Me kill shark now. If this sounds like a fun experience to you, then I guess go see it. Try to avoid seeing it in 3D because it added literally nothing to the movie as usual. Perhaps try to go into this film as drunk as possible and you might have a good time. It's a lazy, overpriced piece of garbage that everyone will forget about in a couple months. And I'm giving this one a 4 out of 10.